all right guys welcome back today we are here at another new spot and i've heard that people catch some nice flathead out of here um i do have experience catching flathead in the past as you guys know uh mainly from a big river though nothing like this we're gonna try and catch some bait first but uh yeah i'm excited hopefully we can get a flathead today we'll see what happens though all right let's get a worm or a fragment of a worm I'm seeing all these little fish jump in front of me so I'm not thinking it's gonna be too difficult to catch bait Oh my God, what did we just do? Did we hook a carp? We just landed on a fish and hooked him. Please stay on. He's gotta not be hooked well. Oh, I can't tell what it is. Is that a bass? Ooh, I think it's a bass. It is a bass. That was unexpected right there. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a good fight on four pound test. I'm not quite what we're looking for though. Not quite. But hey, he destroyed that jig. Not a bad fish. Not exactly what we're after, guys, but I'll take it. Good skunk buster. Start the day. He smacked the jig as soon as it hit the water. Let's let him go. Catch some live bait, man. That was interesting. All right, I've been trying to get these fish to bite for the last hour and I have not had any luck. I'm going back to my tried and true Rebel Crick Hopper. I have caught so many different species of fish on this thing. We just need bait now. Oh, we got something. We got something on the Crick Hopper. Feels bait size. Yes, we're just gonna use him as cut bait because uh, I don't want to use him as live and then he comes off or anything. So, Crick Hopper always gets it done, man. That is our flathead rig, five ounce weight, bead protects the knot. We got a heavy duty swivel, and then we have, I think this is an eight aught circle hook. Here we go. God, I haven't hooked a piece of bait like this in so long. Fresh caught bluegill. Oh, it's been, <laughs> been a few months. Oh yeah. Got the clicker on. Oh my God, I think we're getting bit already. That's how I was tripping. Uh, so we're going to move to a different spot, see if we can catch them. All right, guys, new spot again. I did run out of bait for my flathead adventures, so I'm going to work on catching some more bait. I'm also going to put a channel cat rod out and see if maybe we can catch one of those guys. I'm learning. I'm exploring. Let's see if we can catch something. Left a few of them, looks like. Look at that. Why? There's another one. I don't understand why people just waste fish like that, guys. Ah, frustrating. Let's catch some fish and let them live. Let's get rod number one in the water. We have a piece of chicken liver. Just gonna put it towards the middle. There's a little dock right here. Don't worry, I tested it out earlier. Ah. 
The clicker is on. I think we found some channel cats. Garlic chicken livers. That never seems to fail us. Last time we were right about there or so. Okay, well there's that one. Let me get some more water here. That's a catfish. We got him. We got him. We got him. See how big he is. Average size. Okay, let's get him up here. Hey, he ain't bad. Average channel cat. Bite was insane. There he is. Our first catfish of the day. He's nothing to brag about, but hey, they bite really good in these rivers right here. Let's get him back in the water, guys. All right, he's out of there. With that being said, let's catch another one. Guys, garlic livers, I'm telling you, they are just underrated. Boom. All right, we still got our liver. This time we got a chum pot on there also. These channel cats have been biting. Oh, we missed that one. Got him that time. Got him that time. Jeez. He ain't that big. Oh, our other rod's getting bit. Every time, man. Got him out. Our other rod's still getting bit. Another decent little channel cat. You kind of see why we're missing them now, because they're all pretty small. Got to be a big one in here somewhere, though. There's our second catfish of the day. Definitely nothing to brag about, but uh, we're getting bites. We'll see what happens. We're still getting, still getting them. Definitely a little baby. That small mouth is gonna be hard to hook no matter what. The chum pod chicken liver combo always seems to do it for us. And we'll go, we'll go a little bit to the right this time. Nowhere, a little fire put. There's trash everywhere. We got fish. Oh, that's what I get for filming a Snapchat right there. Got him. Oh, I'm that time. I see why they built this now. Let's go, baby. Ain't very big. Oh, they're fun. <laughs> Another little channel cat. At this point, guys, we're just gonna fish until we run out of bait. Finally, the circle hook does its job. Well, so far the biggest one we caught was the first one. <laughs> nice dark little channel cat in this desert river right here. <laughs> you never know. Sweet. Just like that. This one's been getting bites down river, so we're gonna keep going with that. Well, that bite, I was getting ready to pack up <laughs> and 
and got that final guy right there. There he is. That's gonna be our last catfish for the day. They're not huge guys, but they're so much fun to catch in a river like this. Let's let him go. GoPro's dead. 